Hi everybody, welcome back to Dad and Daughter Play Games. Today on Dad Play Solo, we're going to do an unboxing video of Lands of Galzir. Uh, this is the Kickstarter edition. It just arrived today. I'm super excited about this. You'll notice the shrink wrap is off of here. Uh, I ordered the Deluxe Edition, which comes with an adventure journal and an extra set of dice. And while the dice tray was separate, obviously the map was separate, I didn't see the adventure journal or extra set of dice. So I took the shrimp wreck off quickly and just to peek inside. And yes, they are inside the box. You'll see that when we get inside there. So um, let's start taking a look here. Here is the dice tray that it comes with. Let's take a look here. Ooh, this is very nice. Very nice. You see the nice logo there on the outside. And this is the inside of the tray. This is nice quality. Very thick. Snaps good. That's a nice dice tray. I like that it's a little bit longer. Get a little bit more roll in there. The logo is nice. So if everything else lives up to this, I'll be very impressed. So dice tray is a win so far. All right, now this is the map. Comes in its own little carrying case here, which is super cool. Take a look at this. Okay. Get the cool different symbols, different characters on there. It's a nice outer bag. Okay. Well, it's got a nice little carabiner too to hook it on. Okay, I'll move this out of the way here quickly. Now it is a double sided map. Be some rolling wrinkles in here, but not too bad. Not really puffy, so that's good. All the symbols are clear, very nice. Let's look at the winter side. Now obviously we have a little bit of curl on this, but I'm feeling that we'll be able to get that out pretty easily. A little bit of backwards rolling. It's beautiful. The map is great. Okay. Now Let's take a look at the box. All right, here's the box. Beautiful scenic, there's a nice frog on a cart there. There's the side, I think they're all the same. Yep, there's the back of the box showing the meeples. Talks about game content. The soundtrack that I have to download yet, and this is the app that the game uses. The game does require an app um, to play. And it comes with um, 480 cards, double-sided game board, which I don't know if this one comes, comes to the game board or not. Yeah, I'll have to take a look. Meeples, plastic pegs, which you use to track where you have your specializations in. Trays, travel guides, achievement sheet, rule book. 14 and up, one to four players, 60 to 150 minutes. Um, and then there's a persistent world, so you can kind of keep coming back and playing it. Now, it is a hefty, it is a hefty game. Okay, we have our welcome letter here. You can scan the, for the video, the QR code, very nice. It tells you how to set up each of the four different characters. Uh, remove the packaging from all the decks, and here's how to divide those up. That's the second, the purple divider, the teal divider. And um, this kind of explains the history to all the characters here. store you can order more stuff extra dice card sleeves play mats and more online as well if you want and this is Dale Emergence which was their first game which takes place in the same universe so if I don't mind, I might have to go back and take a look at that all right achievement guide use a sheet to keep track of your achievements you'll know when you unlock one so you'll know for sure it says just one-sided that's okay there's a visual tutorial once again a QR code to check that out Here's all the different decks, game board, adventure boards, adventure tokens, your skill markers, or small ones and larger ones, the base dice, 12 advanced skill dice, and each each in six colors. That's all the different skills there are. One ready to start, 12 sided die. Tokens, two card trays, dividers, travel guide, welcome better, and rule book. 
Here's all your skills, perception, thievery, might, survival, knowledge, communications. They all start with a certain specializations, but as you play on, you can move ones around or gain experience in other ones. It's pretty cool. It basically type, explains each type of card separately, which is nice. The app will help guide you through the playing the game and what to do, which is great. Here's the trays, here's the book of adventures. And there's timer. I didn't show you there's a timer down here at the bottom. Certain things last a certain amount of time. And as you pass time, you'll move the track along. And as it passes it, then the timers go off. Here's how you do the round, adventure phase. Travel, story, choosing a scene, questions that'll pop up you can do. Skill checks, easy, medium, hard, and unknown. You don't know. Tells how to choose outcomes, etc. And you determine the game ends after a predetermined number of rounds. This round limit depends on the player count, as shown below, on the Discord and Harmony global status cards. So one player, eight rounds, seven, two, seven, three is six rounds. Four plus is five rounds. There's competitive and there's solo and cooperative game mode. Does it do those? How to save your game, setting up a new game and continue playing, packing the games, how to reset the game. It's all very cool. All the credits. Nice guide to iconography. Very good. All right. Welcome to Galzir, Lands of Adventure and Excitement. This is just a little travel guide that kind of talks about the different areas cities tells you a little bit about each one of them remember map it's not to scale there's the guide it's very nice and thick all right we got all of our punch here and it looks like i do have a game board let's open this bad boy up here okay oh the definers come on like a nice punch i like that they're not flimsy so there's two sheets of these different colors wow those are those are nice i was not expecting that okay here's the punch board for the player boards all the nice markers these are for the adventure boards they'll determine the stats down here there's the back looks like they punch out pretty easy <laughs> and i do have a cardboard version of the map as well color looks a little bit nicer on here than it does on the play mat but that's okay the play mat is nice option too uh, the colors are a little more vibrant but that's okay okay just a sheet for no reason okay oops looks like some of my things have fallen out here okay here's the adventurer's journal this came with a deluxe edition let's take a look at this here it's nice nice leather bound cool and you can make little notes in here about what each of your characters are doing. There's a slot for all of them. A lot of pages. Oh, you determine what, what season it was into. Winter, spring, so oh, I think it, yep. That's nice, nice logo on there. That's nice. All right, so I do have two sets of dice here open one of these up. That looks like my skill tokens came out of their bag here. Okay. So here are the black skill dice. These are like the generic for everybody ones. See all the sides. They are nice and engraved. And then you've got... Do I have all the colors? There we go. Here's all the colors. You can see them as well. There's a full set of those. There's two of each of the color die and just a normal 12-sider here. Nothing dramatic about that. Nice and nice and engraved, though. I like them a lot. Got good weight. Okay, these are pegs for our adventure boards. Okay, so obviously this guy opened up at some point. So these are the pegs that go into your character slots. There's all the colors for all the different skills. Um, if I grab one of these player boards quick here, I can show you. Oh, 
So for instance, this is a pink one here. You'll have little slots in here. These pegs can go in, and that shows that you have that skill. Um, and obviously, I'm, even the orange one go here, go here, that hole's open. So for when you have the big, bigger skill, it goes there. It shows you have more experience in that than you would. So those are pretty cool. Obviously, with the dial on the back, it'll keep this high up, so you can put these in nice. And this is good for saving the game, right? Those, those are not coming out easy at all. You have to give a nice little pull for them to come out. So that's good. So that's all these. And obviously, there's enough for every character here to have all the skills. Yeah, the bag was open a little bit there. That's a full bag of those colors. Get this back in here quick. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we get some other tokens here. So my edition came with the <coughs> with the um, card sleeves, full set for all the cards here, which is nice. Nothing exciting about that. And some oh, individual ones. There must be an odd number of cards there. So you have enough for all the cards to sleeve if you choose to do so. And I cannot get this bag open for the life of me. There we go. Okay. We have the purple tokens here. Nice little wooden tokens. You can see them there really nice. Nice sound to them. I like those. And then here are the character tokens. And the... Uh, let me lay these all out here so you can see them all nicely. There we go. Where come on, get on focus there, buddy. There we go. They're cool. They're screen printed on both sides. They're nice little wooden tokens here. Very nice. Very cool. It's going to have a great table presence. And. So you have all the cards in the middle here. I will not go through all of these because obviously some of these are story cards and we don't want to give any spoilers away on some of those. In fact, I think they all are story cards. <laughs> they might be in order too. Nope, they're all a little bit off here. That's okay. So I will show you the, these are the, this is the 000 cards of the starting cards. So let's see if they got them for all four characters here. Yes. Okay. So this is this character's starting card, Unyielding Spirit. Life adventure has shaped you, made you resilient and defiant in a dire situation when others would yield, your inner strength surges forth. Before revealing outcomes, you may discard to replace your dice pool with the dice pool below, roll them and use the results. So this, I believe, is an ongoing effect that goes on here. Uh, then you've got the, uh, the lizard character here. There we go. Deep intuition. Your imaginative, empathic nature manifests a peculiar understanding of others in the world. When inspiration strikes you, your heart can guide you. So different types of checks you may discard to get all these results here. I haven't read the rule book yet, so let's get in there. Soar in the sky. That's a cool card there. During your travel, you may discard to get plus three movement. You move with non-flight companions and return them to their spot there. Also, I see you can discard this. That's what they're talking about. And finally, power of the mind is the last starter card here. Come on, focus for me. There we go. Spent decades honing your mind into a weapon of analytical brilliance. When truly tested, you'll find approaches others could hardly barely comprehend. Before skill check, can be discard to replace the tested skill, the skill of your choice. So, okay, very good. So if you have a skill that's higher that you're good at, let me show you the backs of the cards here. These are the purples. These are, must be item cards. I'm assuming these are item cards. Ooh, I like this blue color. Blue backs there. Okay, I'm not going to go look at these because I don't want any more spoilers. Here's the back of the starter cards here. 
I will show you the back. So then I'll put that after I'm done here. I'll put everything in order. Man, there's a lot to go through. That's okay. <laughs> there's these cool ones here. Looks like a little cuckoo clock. There's maybe combat, perhaps, cards. There's some more items. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Unless it's a magic card, but that's uh looks pretty cataclysmic. More of those. And more items. Ooh, more purple cards. More of the clocks. Okay, more and more and more and more. We're all kind of spaced out here throughout the deck, I'm sure. So they're all in the same space. More of the combat icon, more of the clocks. Ooh, like a gold card. Oh, that's a cool back. I like the design on the backs of these. It's really nice. More globes. More of the Doom cards, or whatever they're called. Okay, we've gone through those, gone through those. There are a lot of cards in this game, but this is pretty fantastic. Uh, more of the combat cards. I'll flip these over quickly so you guys can kind of look and see what the cards look like without there any spoilers. More of the scribe cards. Um, so certain of them will say, you do this, read the text. Then it tells you where you need to go to do something else and you have something else and they may have another effect happen at the bottom here some of them have really nice artwork oh those don't look any good wounded see there's different things that can happen shocked different effects exhausted these are the combat ones these things can happen freezing okay that's good to know afraid disheartened okay so these are all like the combat effects basically vigorous and then gives you different keywords which will play off of things that happen um, in the game. If you have certain keywords, it'll help you in skill checks and stuff, I believe. Items, geckos, more items. More of the scribe cards. Let's look these over here. So artwork is great on these. Try to hide some of the harmony. All these are event cards. Sorry about that. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus this time. A lot of events. Some cards just got a lot of reading to do, which is okay. Yeah, these are all item cards then. The backpack ones are all items. So for instance, there is the sledgehammer. Flintlock musket, miner's pick, crowbar, hatchet, hiking boots, survival kit. Map juice. Oh, a fashionable tunic. Come on. Isn't it funny how sometimes it just says, boom, there it goes. You get wounded, roll 12 cider. Oh, and if you get 6 to 12, return to that. So I'm trying to show any of the. Those must be followers. Looks like pretty much all the same decks here as we go through here. Um, oh, yeah, then they have these ones that are the city locations. So as the cities get populated, these cards will go on there. Spring, fall, winter, depending on what you have. It'll replace it's the same location on both sides, but it'll have different events there, depending on what time of year it is, I believe. Oh, look like they're all the same. So that will cover up the cities. And these are all like double-sided cards here. Problem at the charcoal mound site is still unresolved. I need help as soon as possible. Illinair the brown bear. So that's coming from somebody else. And then there's something you can do to take care of it. Oh, wow. Some of these have big map things. or multiple events that happen. These are all mostly events and stuff like that. Those are cool. And the last deck is much like that last one. Double-sided. And more of the, so you know, here's this, parts of the city are in ruins in this one. Burnt out, so something bad went happen in there. Oh yeah, see, all sorts of bad stuff can happen. We don't want any of that stuff to happen. So let's have good adventures and uh, do good. <laughs> that sounds very cheesy, but that is Lands of Galzir, the deluxe edition. Um, I'm going to download the app and try playing this this week. And hopefully I'll have a playthrough video or at least try to how to play a round or two so I don't have too many spoilers for you. 
So until then, from Dan and Daughter Play Games, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get your notifications. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>